guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. If you are new here, then my name is Claire. And if you have been to my channel before, then you'll know that I haven't been posting anything for about eight months. And gosh, it's been a long time, but I'm really excited to get back into it today. And maybe another time, another video, I'll go into all the reasons why uh, I've taken a hiatus from YouTube, but really excited to get into luxury products today. And I haven't done any videos on luxury makeup before, so really excited about it. Um, I typically do quite a lot of research on any makeup, even like drugstore makeup, but particularly on luxury makeup where it's really expensive because I don't want to waste my money. So I have a lot of really good products to talk about and then some that are not so great, uh, at least not so great for me. Maybe they would work for other people. Uh, but without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into the products. So when I talk about luxury makeup, I'm talking about those really high-end, expensive designer brands and the first one I'm going to talk to you about is a product from Dior. So this is a primer and this is their Dior Backstage Collection and this is the 001 in Universal and it's just a really beautiful like silky product that just layers on the skin. You don't, if there's no colour with it, you don't see anything but it just creates this really beautiful base for foundation and any foundation. I've used lots of different foundations you know, other designer foundations, other drugstore foundations, and it's just gorgeous. And the guy in the shop actually pointed out something really interesting to me, which is that actually this is a 50 ml bottle, which for a primer is actually really, really big. And this has lasted me ages. Like I bought this definitely more than six months ago, and there's just still definitely plenty of product left. So actually for value for money, it's actually not as bad as you would find in some of the other primers that you might find, which maybe you only get kind of 20, 30 mil worth of product. So highly recommend this one as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful primer. Continuing with face products, I've definitely spoken about this before a long time ago. This has been a favorite for a long time. And this is the YSL All Hours Foundation. The color that I have is BR30, which is Cool Almond. I am wearing it today. And I just think it's the most beautiful finish you can use a little and it goes a long way or you can really kind of build up for that full glam moment with quite a lot of product and it still makes it look absolutely gorgeous it lasts a really really long time especially with a good primer and a good setting powder but even on its own this works beautifully well this is one of my favorite foundations i think this is my second bottle i've got a third one because they were having a sale and i luckily found my shade in the sale as well so another really really amazing foundation and one i would recommend highly especially if you like that full coverage look so the next product that i have to talk about is one that i think is a bit of a cult product with makeup lovers and this is from chanel look at the pretty I've got it upside down, oh have I? No, there we go. Um, you can see my ring light there if I kind of get it right in the middle. Looks really nice. So this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So this is a cream bronzer and basically it's, it's just this kind of really beautiful product that really helps kind of warm up the face. Um, it's, if you're a beginner, this might be a little bit of a tricky one um, because you've really got to kind of blend it in and sculpt it. But basically it comes in a tub like this and I'm just gonna take the lid off for you. You can see that this is what the product looks like on the inside. And then all I do is I just grab a brush, kind of dive straight into here, and then just kind of kind of bronze around the kind of outside of my face and almost use it like a bit of a warm contour. And it's just gorgeous. I particularly use this a lot on holiday when I went traveling for, for a month around Thailand, Vietnam. This felt like a really kind of bougie product to take backpacking but actually I was a little bit pale at the beginning it just like blended into the skin really beautifully particularly when you're kind of hot or in a hot country more than that kind of lots and lots of kind of cakey powder on top so this is definitely a firm favorite and again this is 30 grams of product so you really a little goes a long way it's absolutely beautiful and I really recommend it but maybe if you're kind of a real makeup lover maybe beginners might struggle a little bit with this or at least try one that's you know not Chanel and see how you get on with it first I think the only negative thing that I would say here is that I think I think it just is this there is one shade and it's this one 
Um, I could be wrong, I bought this a long time ago, maybe they've brought some out, so the shade range is pretty poor, um, which is which is unfortunate, but, um, but still um, a really fantastic product. So the next brand that I'm going to talk about, and I've got two products, is from Hourglass. Now the first product I ever bought from Hourglass, and I've heard so many people talk such wonderful things about the ambient lighting and this is in the dim lights the ambient lighting powder in dim light and it is basically just this this really beautiful finishing powder and it's just silky silky smooth and my friend Alice actually describes it in the most beautiful way she basically says it's like an Instagram filter in a pot and it's just gorgeous it's really pricey but I have had this for a long time and use this on a super regular basis and it just doesn't go down um well it does but just really really slowly so it lasts forever so i've i mean i've had this definitely a year maybe i don't even know maybe maybe a little bit more they do also sell this in a mini version so because it lasts so long you can actually get the mini version for about 20 quid which doesn't make it feel like so expensive and you can still really get your brush in there really kind of use it uh, but not kind of paying for a full price item like this one here. The next one is maybe a little bit unfair of me to show and this is one of my favourite, favourite pieces of makeup that I have in my entire collection and it's limited edition. I don't think you could get it anymore unfortunately but this is the Ambient Lighting Edit and this is Unlocked. So they come out with these like every year I think and they have like a different selection but this was the one that was worth the money and worth spending because of the the colours and you can see that it's definitely a well loved palette it's kind of chipped off at the sides but it's still beautiful all the same and so this is all of the colours so there's a bronzer a highlighter two blush and then you can see that I've definitely used another different of that ambient lighting powder there as a finishing powder and it's just gorgeous again I just take I just take this traveling and it does like all my makeup all in one go the powders are beautiful from hourglass and they are so so worth the money if you want to treat yourself or you know splurge on something new hourglass powders are fantastic and I definitely recommend those too so obviously you can see so far that most of my recommendations have really been about kind of face products and that's where I really think it's worth investing in luxury makeup um, because I think the other things like lips, eyes and stuff, you can get some great stuff from the drugstore or kind of that kind of mid-range area. But in terms of eyes, the next one I've got to show is a really super luxury brand called Natasha Denona and I don't have any of her big eyeshadow palettes there, oh my god, I don't even know, over 100 quid, and they're sometimes even upwards of $200 or something. They're super, super expensive, but they are beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. I don't have any of the big ones, but I actually have one of the mini versions, so if you really fancy having something that's kind of really luxury product, then actually it's sometimes worth investing in the minis, because you're not kind of paying, you know, outright too much cash but you're still getting a really beautiful product so this is the one that I have and this is the mini Lila palette and they've just got some really beautiful colors this one I use a lot this kind of combination between the two here maybe this one in the kind of corner of the eye to kind of crease it up a little bit but she's got about five different ones of these um, all into kind of different colors like if you just like a really simple beautiful look but you don't want a load of palettes, loads of colours, then these are really good to invest in. They're really good sizes, they blend beautifully, they last a long time on the eye and then you're not paying kind of hundreds and hundreds of quid <laughs> for like loads of palettes. You can get quite a nice collection of about two or three of these that'll just do the job beautifully and that's definitely a big recommendation for me on eyes. Um, going into lips, now I don't actually have a lot of premium high-end lipsticks. A lot of them are like drugstore or mid-range, similar with the eyes, but I have got this one and it's gorgeous and I love it. And this was a gift from a friend of mine and this is from Golan. And so I don't know how much this was, but it's one of those where you buy the lipstick and then you buy the case that goes with it. So she had picked out for me this really beautiful kind of like snake skin. But the idea is you take the lipstick out and then boom, there's like a lipstick mirror there as well. And this is the color that she bought. I don't even know if I can know tell you what the color is I'll look it up and try and find the color but it's this really beautiful 
deep red shade and it's definitely not an everyday color for me but when I wear it I feel awesome and I think just having it in this like completely like badass lipstick kit I'm like owning life it's great <laughs> and then my final recommendation is a bit of a random one it's not random to recommend a perfume but it is for me because I'm not really a perfume girl I have very very few I regularly forget to put it on it's something that I really really like but not something that I feel I need loads and loads like I do with eyeshadow palettes or lipsticks or something like that but this one I just couldn't help and this is uh, Jo Malone obviously I would definitely consider this to be a kind of luxury product the one I have here is English Pear and Freesia and I just oh, it's just so fresh and so yummy and it, it feels like a really lovely like spring scent and normally I don't really like kind of really florally things and this just doesn't feel too overpowering. Getting a kind of smaller version, considering I don't go through lots of perfume, is perfect for me because I can just use it on the days that I want and I don't feel like I'm buying this kind of huge, huge bottle that's like 60 quid or something like that. So definitely recommend the English Pear and Freesia. So those are all of the products that I would absolutely recommend I use regularly and I absolutely adore them I did also buy two products that I saw recommended on YouTube a lot and a lot of people really love these but they just didn't work for me unfortunately and I can't bring myself to throw them away and I keep regularly trying them again in case I change my mind but they just don't really work for me unfortunately and the first one is also an hourglass product so this is the hourglass vanish uh vanish stick foundation so it's a stick foundation and I really wanted this because I thought oh that would be great for traveling um, I regularly travel I can only take so much in my hand luggage so I thought oh this is a really nice convenient like stick that I can take for me it just doesn't really work it's really difficult to blend and it just kind of melts off through the day it definitely doesn't last a long time so I'm definitely gonna hang on to it and maybe give it to someone that might have some better luck with it. Um, maybe my sister, if she's nice to me, might, uh, <laughs> might be the lucky recipient. Um, and then the next one, again, this is also loved by a lot of people, or at least the, the ranges, and this is another Dior product. So this is the Dior Lip Glow. Um, I actually really fancied trying this because I heard they had a matte version. So this is the 101 in matte pink, and it is really, really pretty and you know once you kind of get it on and you swatch it on like this it's really subtle you may not even be able to see it on the camera but it's this really just beautiful pink but I just found that I don't know I have really dry lips and so I struggle to kind of you know and get those lines and cracks in your lips I get that a lot that it just exaggerated it all and it just kind of showed up the kind of it kind of chunked in my lips a little bit it was just not a good look um, again, I really think this would be a lot better with someone that didn't have a dry lip problem But for me, it just didn't really work and again, I had the matte version So maybe if I bought the regular lip glow then I'd have a lot better luck and I'm, I definitely would consider buying the normal one again um, But just not that one. Sorry Dior so that is all, all uh, I wanted to share with you today. Just a few of my kind of really favorite luxury makeups. I'm getting back into the swing of things. I really want to start doing even more filming. Um, it's coronavirus times and Denmark is currently on lockdown. So I have a lot of time to kill at home. So uh, I would really appreciate any suggestions, tutorials, things that you want to see from me. Sound off below. I can't, I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get away with saying sound off. Please comment politely below. Um, it's a much more British way of saying it. Um, and then um, I would love to create, start creating more content and start getting into it. But thank you so much. Please subscribe and go check me out on Instagram. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.